The gasket's loose. It's all rusted out of that thing. Cracks. The whole engine's gonna blow. I don't want that responsibility, D. Hey, 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 hey cut me loose, man. Hey. Hey. hey, 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 cut me loose. Cut me loose, man. Please. Man. Do it. Hey, hey. Let's see here. Jack Monk. Well, they picked him up for a traffic violation. He ran a red light. What? They brought him in for that? Yeah, well, he resisted arrest. He shoved a cop. When they brought him in for booking, he started asking for you. We got him in a holding cell upstairs. His rig is parked in the impound lot out back. What rig? His rig. It's a tractor trailer. Your dad is a truck driver. I don't think so. He's a writer. He writes school books. You two obviously have a lot to talk about. What are you doing? I'm speed reading. What's your rush? I'm old. Jack Monk, your son is here. I'm looking at you, but I see your mother. Oh, uh, no, I'm Leland Stottlemyre, sir. This is Adrian. That man looks just like your mother. Adrian. How are you? How am I? Is that what you said? Yes, how are you? It's a rather conventional salutation. In Texas, people use it all the time. Texas? Yeah, yeah, Midland. I got a place in Midland, but I'm hardly ever there. I'm driving 18 wheelers, long hauls. I travel for travel's sake to come down off of this feather bed of civilization. Robert, Lewis, Steve, Jack, I don't want to hear it. You called me, I'm here. What do you want? For one thing, you can call me dad. No. So for pops, pappy, you know, forget about it. I'm getting used to Jack. What do I want from you? Two things. A, forgive me. Forgive your father. I was negligent, I was selfish, and I'm very sorry. B, get me the hell out of Dodge. But if you can only do one, I'll take B. I gotta be in Phoenix early in the morning. That's why you called me. After 39 years, to fix a parking ticket. I know you could do it. I've been reading all about you. You are a hot shot detective, which I take a, a little bit of credit for. Oh. Who read Sherlock Holmes to you every night? Holmes. Oh, you amaze me. Remember? Adrian, here's the thing. If I don't get to Phoenix in the morning, I lose the job. And this gig, it's my life. What do you say? I say goodbye. Monk. Hey, Monk, look, he's not a young man. If you walk away now, you might never see him again. You promise? Jack! Wait up. Wait up. On the side. this? It's 
GPS. Eye in the sky. 5,000 miles? It's a memory chip. It remembers the last 5,000 miles that you drove. What are you doing? You started in Texas, right? And we drove from San Francisco to Phoenix to Carson City. It's about 5,000. 4,998. Jack, pull over. Stop, stop the truck. Tell me about your boss. Is he a driver? He used to be. Does he ever borrow any of these trucks? Yeah, all the time. How do you know that? Here's what happened. Ben Glazer borrowed a truck, this truck, and he drove out to see Kenneth Woods. They must have had a fight. It makes sense. They hated each other. Ben killed Kenneth, and he hid his body, but he had a problem. There was a record of where he had driven that day. Big brother. Right, and he knew that eventually the cops would check the GPS computer. He had to erase it, and quick, he had to put 5,000 more miles on this truck so the box would reset. And he sends me out on this wild goose chase. Son of a bitch bastard. Excuse my language. It's okay, I'm a truck. It's unbelievable. You solved it. You did it. You don't even know these people, and you solved the case. It's like when I used to read Sherlock Holmes to you, you'd figure it out by page two. Well, what about the proof? This truck is the proof. It's all the evidence we need. As long as we can keep this under 5,000 miles, the district attorney can introduce the memory chip from the satellite. Why is this thing moving? Is this thing broken? Come on, uh, Jack. Jack! Oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? What, 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 what does that mean? It can mean a variety of things, but in this case, it means no breaks. Jack! Oh, no! No! Jack! Oh, my God! Just do it again, bump the thing! Turn some knobs, Jack! You haven't even touched these buttons! Jump out and save yourself! I can't! I can't just leave you here! Easy! It's gotta be a runoff. What? It's a little side road for trucks and trouble. Look for a runoff. There it is! Where? Oh, we just passed it. Did you have to turn around? Turn around! I gotta say something. Well, I'm sorry I wasn't there for you and Ambrose. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm a bad father. It's all that matters. You're not a bad father. Look at Jack Jr. He's a putz. What? Actually, he's not even a putz. He dreams one day of becoming a putz. He lives downstairs in my basement. He smokes pot all day long. He steals money from my wallet. No, doctor? No, I made it up. I lied. I wanted to have a son that I could be proud of. I didn't know I had one in San Francisco. Dad, there it is. There's another runoff. Case, it's all been erased. I guess your boss is gonna get away with murder. Hold me, Dad. I, I cleaned out his desk. Hmm? Oh, yeah, oh, thank you. Valerie, let me take that. And, you know, look, people, listen up. I know there's a tough time. And as Kenneth used to say, this is more than just an office. Y'all are family. And I think that's how we're going to get through this, by, by just supporting each other like a family. 
It's Jack Mark. Well, better late than never. Now, who is this? Come on now. You know the rule about passengers riding in the cab. And you know the rule about killing your partner. Hello, Ben. Told you we might be back. This is a warrant for your arrest. You've got to be kidding me. We've gone all through with this stuff. You were with your partner, Kenneth Woods, when he was killed. We can prove that. <laughs> Jack, who the hell is this guy? It's my son. I don't believe this. Some orthopedist from Baltimore is accusing me. This is another son, Adrian, a homicide detective. Ex-detective. I hope to be reinstated soon. I mean, you didn't apply it? Hey, Dad, I'm fine, all right? You want me to make a call? OK, look. I can take care of myself. You were in this truck, this particular truck, the day Kenneth disappeared. We saw the sign-out sheet. That's right. I borrowed it, and I went fishing. Now, can you prove that I didn't? Because if you're talking about the GPS system, that thing's already been erased. It's only got a 5,000-mile memory. Mm -hmm. We don't need a GPS system mm -hmm. to prove anything. There was this loud noise, like a... Yeah, it's like a rattle. A rattle. Flutter. 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 Driving us crazy. We figured... It's got to be a fan belt. It wasn't a fan belt. Mr. Glazer, can you explain how part of the victim's necktie was found in a vehicle you were driving?